Hey, this is Todd at Southern Oaks, and we're going to be talking about a few different chipping techniques to help you get it closer to the hole. All right, so for a lot of amateurs, their number one way of getting the ball up in the air and to land softly is to open the face, but at the same time, that also causes a lot of either chunks or blades. So again, here's square. They tend to just open it, try and hit that super flop like Phil Mickelson does. So we're going to do a few adjustments to help you with that, get a little bit more consistent with it. So we can still open the face, but we just want to barely just touch it open and then obviously re-grip um, the club. We don't want to grip it square and then fold our hands this way under it. So just barely open it. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the ball on our front left foot for right-handed golfers, your front right foot for your left-handed golfer. And then as we are doing that, we want to make sure we put all of that weight onto our front foot. So that will guarantee that we're coming down directly on the back of the ball and getting solid contact. So I'll demonstrate a few. All right, so again, number one thing is people just tend to open that face up. And again, just try and really just get right under it. But the biggest thing people do is they come in and they sort of hit a blade shank out to the right. So those few adjustments that we're gonna do First, again, just barely open up that face. So again, just touch that club open, put all that weight in our left foot, and just swing away. So as you can see, that was high and soft landing. So we'll do it again. A little bit more rollout, but from this distance, it's going to be hard to get it to stop that quick. Um, but the biggest thing I want you to notice is I didn't take that big of a swing and still got it there. So we don't have to take just a massive swing in order to get height and distance. Um, we can just barely open the face, take a small swing, and it'll get there all by itself. So that's the first technique. Now the second technique is going to be a little bit more for our intermediate to advanced players and this is just going to involve a little bit more arm work throughout the swing so if we go back to that same spot we're just going to have a standard setup so ball relatively in the mid middle of our stance Again, we're just going to barely just touch the club open. Now, the only difference we're going to make is with our right forearm, we're going to feel like we're trying to hit a hook with it. Now, whenever I say that, I don't mean to completely just shut the face down. We still want to keep that face open. You just want to feel that right arm just coming through and just rolling over with that face staying open. So, we're going to go to this second furthest hole from us. So again, gonna touch that club open and again with that right arm, gonna feel like it's turning over, but that club face is staying open. Go the same way. So as you see, that one had a little bit more height than that first method. Go ahead and do it again. So as you can see, a little bit higher. Again, I'm not taking that big of a swing, um, but that'll help you with the longer holes when you have a lot of green to work with. So if you're a beginner and want to try it, go ahead and try it. Um, you know, just again, make sure that face is staying open as you're rolling that forearm over. And for our intermediate and advanced players, that'll be for more of the longer distance shots when we have a lot of green to work with. For more lesson information, please contact the golf shop at Southern Oaks for Ellison's premier golf course. 817-426-2400.